What's up guys? So we have a long video for you today. A lot of people on TikTok have been asking, can we see every single snake? And we always tell them, no, that would take too long. Um, today we're gonna do just that. It's gonna be one long video, so strap and get ready. No cuts, no editing, nothing like that. No sneaky, we're gonna clean this cage before we show it on Everything. camera. Everything start to bottom, or top, top to bottom, start to finish. <laughs> uh, so we'll start right here. These are our Australian olive pythons. We have four, we have two males and two females. The two males are both siblings, and the two females are both siblings. Uh, they're all albino. We've been trying to breed them for the last four years with no luck. So we'll get this one guy out real quick. Their lights are off. Uh, usually we don't bug them when their lights are off because we try and cycle them uh, with the change of the seasons. So right now they're supposed to be sleeping, but uh, this is a male. These are around eight feet. Uh, these are the Australian olive pythons, just to clarify, uh, not to be confused with the Papua and olive pythons, they're less attractive cousin. Um, but yeah, no, I love these species. It's, it's like a cool middle ground between a carpet python and a retic. Very similar temperament to both. Um, very strong food response. Very similar uh, food response, activity level, all that. So these are all pythons. Quick little update on these guys. Um, so we got male, female, male, female. Um, they're gonna get fed tonight on live, but for now we're gonna leave them alone, turn their lights back off so that they can be on the right time clock. So she's gonna put that back real quick. Uh, you guys can follow me. I'm gonna turn these lights off. And we'll go over here. So we're gonna do kind of like a little walkthrough tour. Nothing in this room, this is the dog's room when he's up here. Nothing in this room. Uh, we had roaches in there, but we decided to move them to a different place uh, just in case any got out. We don't want them messing with the neighbors. So this is the main room. I'm sure this is the one most of you are familiar with. Uh, and we'll just start with this rack. We're gonna go through literally every single snake and show you everything. We'll talk about some of the more interesting ones, but we want to kind of give you like a whole top to bottom tour of our place, show you every single animal, how each of them are kept. We take uh, quite a bit of pride in how clean we keep our animals. So this girl's gravid. She was bred to a cinnamon het raisanthic. She's a black pastel. So maybe some interesting stuff in there. This girl is pretzel aptly named because of the pretzel shaped markings on her. She laid her first time clutch, so she's still a little skinny, but she's gonna get that weight back. She's on food now. NCGHI, this girl's interesting. She was just paired to our pastel sunset, so we'll make some nice huts to hold back for the future. VPI Xanthic Pied, she's actually going into her pre-lay shed right now. This one will be interesting. She was paired to our pastel sunset, so the goal is to make, obviously, triple het. VPI is Anthic, uh, Pied Sunsets. Could be a really cool project, could be a really crappy project, who knows. That's the fun part about it. Female honey, also gravid. Honey is a gene that's in the bell complex. Um, so it makes blue-eyed Lucy's with like the Mojave and all that stuff. This is a female vanilla. Um, that I believe is kind of not technically, but reacts with the fire complex. Another honey, very gravid on this one. And then on the bottom here is a female clown. Nothing too crazy. Um, moving right over here into this rack. We have the top three girls that are the biggest here. So this is just a, a pastel, nothing too fancy, but she's a massive female right at around 4,000 grams. Here's Myrtle. Fertile Myrtle, as we call her. She laid 13 eggs this last season. She's one of our favorites. She's about 19 years old. Um, possibly some interesting stuff going on with her. We don't know yet. This is Gertie. Another very old pet. Uh, she is also around 18, 19 years old. As you can see, she's very, very bright. We have no idea what she is. Um, so that'll be fun. Go to here. This is our banana blade head clown female. She's back on food. She just laid the clutch that produced Nemo. Which we will show you in a second. <laughs> if any of you are from TikTok, tell me who your favorite snake is. Funky normal, I don't know. Not a whole lot going on with this one, but I feel like we have a lot of snakes that most breeders really wouldn't keep. But for us, since we breed our own rats, like, I don't know, I just like to mess around with the funkier looking ones and just have fun with it. All right, female pastel leopard head clown, hold back from a couple years ago. She's growing. 
female mahogany, female normal, maybe yellow belly. We put her to a super gravel to figure it out. She was another pet that we just took in early in our breeding. Female chocolate, female GHI. This girl has still not gone back on food. We're gonna have to try a few tricks up our sleeve to get her to go back on food after laying her eggs. But female pastel yellow belly. She'll go next season paired to the super gravel, make some highway stuff. Another honey, again, in the bell complex. Female NR Mandarin. So this one was cool. We paired her to our pastel sunset. So the goal in the future is to make super Mandarin sunsets. Um, very, very excited about this one. Female bamboo pastel yellow belly. We paired this girl to a super gravel to hopefully make some bamboo highways, which I had wanted to do for a few years and then a few people made them. They turned out to not be as cool as I thought they were. Kind of bummed on that. We didn't hit it either in the clutch. Pastel sunset. This is the guy who's going to be putting in a lot of work um, over the next few seasons. He's the guy. He's the guy. Pastel leopard clown. Uh, this guy's fathered pretty much all of our clowns and het clowns in the past. I think all of them actually. So if you have a het clown or a clown from us, came from him. Banana cinnamon. This was actually Kennedy's second snake when she got into the hobby with me. He's a cool guy, we like him. Pastel, yellow belly, leopard, double het hypo clown. This girl is going to be an awesome breeder for us. Banana spider dinker. So this guy's interesting. Um, I don't know, tell me if you've ever seen a banana at this size that's this orange. I don't know if it's the spider influence or if it's just because of this extra gene that we think Myrtle has. But this is her son. It's also Stevie's dad. It's also Stevie's dad. This is one of Myrtle's daughters actually. So I don't know, we're raising them up. With Myrtle, she throws her a lot of kind of bright babies with all these weird things coming up on the side. Very interesting project. And again, like most breeders wouldn't take the time to care about that, but it's fun for me. Male Super Gravel, another hard worker here. Female Grizzly. So this one I'll take a, like a few seconds on. Um, Grizzly is a new gene that was discovered by one of our good friends, Chris Crawford here in Utah. There's about six people working with the Grizzly gene. Um, it's a very, very interesting gene. It's an incomplete dominant. Um, as you see, like, here's the belly, sides. Uh, the characteristics of the Grizzly gene, there's kind of like a weird green undertone. Um, and it has a very weird photogenic change as it ages. So it, it kind of changes in color and it looks better as it ages, which is contrary to most ball python morphs. And is amazing. Yeah, it really is. Uh, cinnamon, het ready, xanthic, pos, het pied. He's got a nice little pied ringer. So we'll see, we'll see if we can prove him out soon. Uh, banana leopard blade clown. This came from that pat, or the, the banana blade het clown female up there. We produced her a few years ago back, a few years ago. Um, I'm sure some of you are familiar with her. This guy's another one of those weird projects. I don't really know what he is. He came to us uh, from like a rescue case. I loved his funky, weird pattern um, and all the babies that he produces don't feel quite normal to me. So I don't know, it's a fun project. If nothing comes out of it, I'll still have fun with it. GHI Mojave, male. Male mahogany, not really sure what we're gonna do with this guy, but we're enjoying him nonetheless. Champagne het pied. Uh, this is Jeff, so this is actually Kennedy's first ball python. Uh, that she got when we started dating. My very first snake. So champagne's interesting. With the, the pied stuff in champagne, the het pieds look like a visual pied and the visual pieds are pretty much all white. He has a nice little paradox on his head uh, with the normal coloration. So he's a really cool snake. He'll stay here forever. And then last one in this rack is a blackhead het clown. Had a few plans for him. Those might've changed, but we'll see. Um, we'll pan right over here real quick. Uh, Amazon tree boas. There's a male and a female up there. Um, you're not gonna be able to get too good of a look at them because they're kind of wedged up in there. But I'm sure you've seen some of the content on here of them. This is Pepper. This is our pie toke gecko. And she is sweet. She's a wild caught pied. Uh, we are very excited to hopefully prove out her line of pied, whatever it is. But she got a sweet new enclosure upgrade. She's absolutely loving it. 
Uh, right over here we have Arson the Bearded Dragon. This is a temporary cage. Um, this is what he actually came to us in. We're not a fan of it. However, he does have the proper lighting. He has an Arcadia 12% T5 bulb. Um, and then he has a good basking spot. Temperatures of around 100, 110. Uh, but this is a red monster bearded dragon. Um, eventually he's going to be going into this cage down here. This is one of the four by two by twos that we manufacture here. Uh, so he'll go in there. Uh, we're looking for some females for him soon, but we absolutely love him. He's one of our favorite animals here. He's also one of the most stuck up. If you do not have bugs for him, yeah. he will not even consider with me. All right, we'll move to this rack real quick. This is a female banana tri-stripe. Tri-stripe's a very interesting gene. Uh, really excited to work with it. She's not a strong eater, so she probably won't be ready for a while, but. Uh, male banana lesser dinker, we're calling him. He's one of Myrtle's babies. Weird pattern, weird color, um, kind of funky. Could be nothing, could be a fun project. This is one that I think might've been a world's first that we hit. Um, it is a honey pastel sugar. Nobody really works with honey. Nobody really works with sugar. Um, so not that amazing of an achievement, but it, we'll claim it. Here's a hold back from a few years ago, Mojave, uh, double head exanthic pied uh, from late two years ago. There's a female pastel yellow belly double head hypo clown. And then we have what I believe to be a pastel leopard blade head clown male he's a favorite yeah he's sweet and then this one is one of myrtle's babies that kind of stumped us uh the pairing on this was her to a super fire and obviously this is a fire but it just seems brighter to me i don't know it's weird she fires up and fires down too sometimes she looks like she's almost desert ghost this is oscar as some of you know so oscar and all of his siblings we just claim the question mark babies so that funkier male over there that I told you came from a rescue case. This is one of his siblings. They all have kind of weird pattern, these blended alien heads, um, funky blushing in here. I don't know, it's just, it's just weird. It's not like necessarily obvious, but it could be something. So he's one, these two are both same story. These are siblings to Oscar. This one, and then this one. And then the next three are siblings to Oscar as well. This one's really funky too with all that, that weird just funky patterning going on. I don't know. It's interesting for sure. And then here's the last one, that clutch. These two came from Jeff. Jeff is our champagne pet pied. We think he's hiding blackhead. I think that this one and the next one are both blackheads that are pos het pied. So just super dark. I don't know. Fun projects too. Like I don't need to just make the craziest, coolest things. I just have fun breeding. GHI honey. This is a cool combo. Uh, possibly a world's first. I don't know. Again, nobody really works with honey. So I've never seen one before, but this one is one of Gertie's babies. He's in shed right now, but he's pretty bright, kind of funky pattern. Maybe we'll put him back to her in the future. This is one of Jeff's babies. This is a champagne hep pied female. This is a weird Mojave that we hatched out. I don't know. It's just one of those things. Like I just like keeping the weird stuff and we'll see what happens in the future. This, I believe, is a champagne blackhead. Came from Jeff. This one is from Skylar at Mountain Man Constrictors. This is a special het clown. Really, really nice line of special. I don't think it's the, the Barnhart line of special, but it's a really high quality special. Here's another one of my favorites. It'll be a really cool one to, to plug in the clown for sure. So these three right here, these are from that Mandarin Het Sunset pairing. So we have a male Het Sunset, possible Mandarin, I don't know. This girl, I'm really leaning towards being Mandarin, especially when you compare her to her sister. Um, you can just kind of see all the, the white coming in on the sides. It's just brighter, it's more rich, I don't know. I'm not super familiar with the Mandarin stuff, but she looks Mandarin. 
compared to her, to me at least. This one is another one from this season. This is a Mojave Dinker. She'll probably stay here just because I think she's kind of weird. This is a GHI Mojave. He'll stay here. Again, super strong, funky pattern. He's a really high quality GHI Mojave. These ones are all going to new homes eventually. Two male GHI Mojaves right here. This is a super GHI Mojave. This one is claimed. And then this is a GHI. Onto these, these are two double hat hypo clown females. They are on the website if you're interested. Uh, pretty soon they're gonna find a way into the holdback rack and getting ready for breeding. They're not gonna breed this upcoming winter, but the one after that for sure. These two are some weird, just normal, funky babies. That's all I'm gonna say about them. They are for sale though. This is from Myrtle's Clutch this season. So, you these yeah, two. we have to compare the two bananas in the clutch. Because you, you really only see it when you get them side by side. So, I don't know. It's interesting. The only genes that we can confirm are in play in this clutch is banana and spider. That's it. So, obviously, in my mind, there's something very clearly going on here. This one's way more orange. This one's way more yellow. Uh, the contrast and the richness is crazy. And you see these, like, bands of orange coming through on the dorsal? Very interesting project. So, who knows? Who knows where that'll go? These ones are all from the same clutch. Again, she had a 13 egg clutch. These are all banana spider dinkers, we'll call them. Spider dinker. Normal, and then we get to Stevie and Ramen. The orange on this snake is kind of crazy. I don't really know what's going on with that. I think it, I think it definitely has that gene. You can see, again, those, those whites coming up on the side. Very weird. And then we get to Stevie. Named Stevie after Stevie Wonder. She has no eyes. You might be able to see she has a little bit of wobble. That can happen in spiders. And I think the fact that she doesn't have eyes is kind of bringing that out a little bit more. Uh, but she never developed in the egg, completely scaled over. Um, she hasn't eaten yet, but we're keeping her with her siblings so she feels a little bit more secure. And then hopefully she'll we she will start to eat soon. She has become a favorite here. Yeah, so this is Nemo. This. I'm gonna say is probably the best ball python that we've produced here to date. She is a banana pastel leopard blade clown. She's absolutely staying here. The whites on her dorsal are just getting more insane every single day. She didn't even have them when she hatched and now they're just like starting to become paper white. This is a leopard blade het clown. It'll probably stay here, who knows. And then in here, we have two that are still waiting to shed out, Pastel Leopard Clown and Normal Hat Clown. So we keep them wet when they still have their egg skin so that they have an easier time. Oh, that's actually that one. This is a gravel from a super gravel pairing. Very nice, high quality gravel. And same thing on this one, both female. And then in here, this is the newest clutch. So the pairing on this was Oscar's dad, which is that really funky, weird one. Uh, he was paired to a Mojave pinstripe. The goal there was to see if it was like Trick that it reacts to pinstripe in a very obvious way, which didn't give us any answers. So that's it on ball pythons. We'll move right over here to the incubator. There's three clutches in here right now. We're kind of behind on breeding this season. This is a Will Banks incubator. We actually really do like it. Uh, these are just massive eggs. These are around, what would we say, like 125 grams? Yeah, Jeff has 100 plus gram babies every single season. Yeah, it's weird. He's got some big genetics. We'll move over here. Um, a lot of people ask, how do you take care of a collection this size? There you go. There's our weekly schedule. So into here we have mainly the dark frog enclosure. So. There's a pair of dart frogs in here. You can see one right down in there. But they're absolutely spoiled. It's just two dart frogs in this whole thing. Um, and then some plants. There's a pixie frog down in here. Um, you can kind of see him in the water. Yep, there he is. A uh, bunch of uh, fruit flies. 
And here we just have house plants right now, but eventually we will be growing all of the lettuce to feed like the bearded dragons and the roaches and all that stuff. We really like to go ground up on everything we do. Um, we'll show you guys briefly in here. We have a bunch of isopods uh, in all of these tubs. There's like some specialty roaches. We have emerald roaches. Uh, these are tiger hissers, chrome roaches, shadow roaches, redhead roaches, tiger or wide horn hissers. Uh, a bunch of weird stuff, springtails, so many bugs in here. Um, we'll move over in here. This will be the last room of the tour. Um, arguably the best one. Do I get to get them out? Yeah, you can get one out. Oh, and in true indigo fashion. They've all been cleaned today already. Have they've all been one? cleaned today. Um, you feed an indigo enough, you're gonna have a mess. So, this is one of the babies that we produce. This is Killer. She's a female Eastern Indigo produced from our two adults. She is the absolute sweetest. Cannot, cannot pick one over the other. I yeah. feel bad. Um, we'll move on to Kill Switch. Kill Switch is her sister. Also from our first Indigo breeding ever. No, don't eat me. So these two girls are obviously staying here. They won't be ready this upcoming winter, but probably the winter after that, which will be very exciting. This is their mom. This is Lila. She is the female that has produced all of our indigos in the past. Um, and she's looking really good. She's getting ready for this upcoming season. We're excited. Um, she took last two seasons off, so it'll be nice to hopefully get back to some new baby indigos. There's nothing like baby indigos. Yeah. All. And right below her is her boyfriend, Dexter. Dexter is our adult male Eastern indigo. He's kind of a small adult male. Uh, he's probably around five and a half feet. They can get six, six and a half feet. The record, I believe, is eight and a half. But that's Dexter. We'll get in there and close that in a second. Right here is our biggest snake in the collection. This is Phoebe. She comes from Wildfire Retix. She is a platinum motley golden child. And she is about as tame as you could get for a retic. She is like one of the chillest snakes in the whole collection. She will be moving into an 8x36 here pretty soon, along with our other reticulated python, Nikita, down here. Nikita is a Pied Golden Child Tiger Platinum uh, Het Albino. She's going into shed right now, but usually she looks just absolutely stunning. The gold flecking down here just like really pops. She's one of the prettiest snakes. Yeah. She's a very, very low white pied, but she has the attitude to match the pied, so there you go. And the last reptile in the tour, a lot of people's favorite, this is Honey. This is our Hypo Het Albino Burmese Python, and we'll try and reach in here without getting bit. She is a superstar here, especially on TikTok. Everybody loves her. Um, and she, for some reason, moved her hide all the way to the cool side. I don't so, know why. Whatever. But that's pretty much it, guys. Um, that is our whole collection. We would love to challenge any of you guys. We'll call it the Luxor Reptiles Challenge, whatever. Uh, show your whole collection, start to finish, one video, no cuts. The let's, whole tub. let's see how you keep your animals. Um, let's take pride in how we take care of our animals again. I know there's been a lot of really crappy things going on care-wise with some of the people out there. Um, so let's start taking pride in the way we, te we take care of our animals um, and show it off to people, especially new people in the hobby. Um, with that, if you have any questions, drop them down below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that crap. Um, and we'll see you next time. We love you guys so much. Thank you for watching.